Hey, haulers, what is up? It has been a hot minute. I have not grocery hauled in months and our house is literally empty of food. We are struggling over here. We've been eating out a lot. We've been blowing the budget. Guys, I know I'm being a bad example right now, but I'm being honest with you as well. A lot has changed in our household in the last couple of months. Um, I am officially a working from home now. I no longer work at the dental office that I was at for years and years. I've been a dental hygienist, including school for seven years. And I'm officially home with my kids, working my business from home 100%. And um, there's been a lot of changes in the process of that as well. So we have not been grocery hauling or anything in a while. And so I'm here to get caught up. Budget's higher than normal. We have to stock up on so many things. But I got a little twist for you here too. So before I get into the twist, if you are someone who is looking to find ways to save money on groceries so that you can take that savings and throw it towards debt, throw it towards a vacation savings, throw it towards anything else other than food, you're gonna wanna stick around. Okay, so I just dropped all the kids off with my mom. My mom now lives up here. You guys have seen her on a couple halls, and so she's willing to watch the kids for me today. They're excited to be at grandma's house. That's always fun. I'm going alone, but the little twist today is I am not going to Costco. What? I'm a huge Costco fan. I'll always love Costco, but today is Labor Day. I am going out of town for a week. I cannot leave my family without food while I'm out of town. My husband would probably order pizza every single day if I don't get him some food in the house. So since Costco's closed and today is the only day I can get to the grocery haul, I'm, I'm going somewhere new. I'm going to Sam's Club. So all of you out there who are bigger Sam's Club, Sam's Club fans, I am going to go check it out. And I've checked it out. I've been there a couple times. My mom has her membership. Um, so I've been with her. But I'm going to go compare prices, stock up, and check out the difference. So... I have my grocery haul list based off of prices from Costco because the plan was to go to Costco when I printed this, not knowing that they were going to be closed today. I forgot it was a holiday, truthfully. So as we go through, we're probably going to have to modify things, buy different things than what's on the list because everything I'm used to is on this list and switch it up. I'm winging it today, but I'm, I know I've been doing this for so long. I'm trusting my gut that I can do this right. We're going to be fine. I've got the meal planner with me, so I know what I need for my meals. We're going to be fine. So here we go, y'all. Let's do it. So I gave myself a budget of an extra $50 to try to buy things we've never tried before because Sam's Club's kind of newer. We've been here a few times, but there's going to be things in here. I'm going to be like, mm, that sounds good. Mm, that's different than Costco. I want to try that. So I gave myself a small little budget to be able to grab miscellaneous things like that for us to try. So if there is some go-tos that any of you have tried from Sam's Club, leave comments below. Let me know because, hey, you never know. We might be back here again. And I want to give a try as to what you guys have loved in the past because maybe I will look over them or maybe they didn't look good to me and they're just like hidden little gems. I want to know your hidden little gems. Guys, I'm already blown away. I usually pay about $30 or 20 some dollars at Costco for the Premier Protein. Only $13.98. Christmas stuff is already out. It is not even freaking September. 15th yet and we have Christmas stuff everywhere and I'm not gonna lie some of it's super cute. Look at this cute little Oh, I love that The dark pretzel crisps have actually their bag changed so I almost didn't see it But they're 658 so I grabbed two one for me and one for mom who's babysitting the kids got to spoil her a little bit, too So my mother-in-law comes to stay quite a bit loves oatmeal cream pies loves nutty buddies. These are huge packs 24 count of each for only $5.98. We've got the Nabisco honey, which is my husband's favorite, and he hates that they don't have the honey at Costco. So the honey flavored is only $7.88. My daughter requested Cheez-Its as her snack for $7.98. 
Now, because my kids are home during the day, 100% now, we don't go to the sitter. I feel snacks are going to be very important. I have a few kids that will be coming over after school during the week as well who will need after school snacks. So I grabbed a few extra veggie straws, um, some more chips, some more pretzels for those days. We got some melatonin. The kids love their melatonin gummies at night. I grabbed these. They were only $13.98 for a 216 pack. That's amazing. And then I grabbed some of these Duke sausages. We used to get these at Costco all the time and they're like $3 cheaper here. So they were only $7 for this pack. Looks like a four count, four count of their organic um, pasta sauce is only $5.34 for their Maker's Mark, which is Sam's Club's brand. So we're gonna go with that for pasta. Oh, I lied, it's a three pack, which is still a good deal. I'm taking this off, okay. One, one thing I'm loving about Sam's Club so far is there's so many options for cereal. Like this entire aisle is all cereal. And at Costco, there's usually like two options for each time that I go each month. So the kids are gonna love that. We're stocking up on some goods. All right, we got a four pack of Maker's Mark's pizza. So my husband can still get his pizza nights for $9.98. Here we go, y'all. I'm still gonna run in and grab some paper towels and toilet paper because I couldn't fit it in the cart, but we are set for a month or more. Okay, y'all, trunk is so full. I actually had to go in for two rounds because I couldn't fit the paper towels and the toilet paper and a few other things in the cart because it was that full. And then as I'm walking out, I realized that Sam's Club has like dolly carts, long carts that I could have used. But lesson learned, I realized there is a lot of great deals at Sam's Club. A lot of the things that I would have paid a little bit more for at Costco price-wise were a little bit cheaper here. Now, I know that Costco's, like, quality of their food is a lot better. So for me and my family to pay a little bit extra, I'm okay with that for quality. I just have to find out how good this stuff tastes. I have people and friends who love Sam's Club. My mom loves Sam's Club. She swears by all of their food. They have a good, they had a pretty good organic selection. Um, I, I'm not against it. So we'll see how, I'll give you guys an update next month about how the food tasted. My husband's the picky eater, so he'll be the judge. So we'll get to that. Now, let's go over savings here real quick. Okay, so you guys can see I did all my markings on my list, changed some prices. The plan at Costco was to spend $566 just at Costco alone. Guys, I know this is more than my typical budget, but remember, we haven't been to the store in three months. We were literally stocking up on everything. We were down to nothing, so $560 was the plan. But here's the thing. I've got everything on my list and then some, and I only spent... 441 I totaled up the two I totaled up the two um, receipts here one for the first trip of everything was 391 or 394 and then the second one was 4634 which was rounded up to 441 so that's a huge savings huge I still have to run to Aldi and just get a few things on this list totaling to about $60. So my total is still way under budget. I'm really happy with the Sam's Club haul. So because I'm so talented and at saving us money, I'm gonna go reward myself with lunch because I just realized I haven't eaten today and it is two o'clock in the afternoon. So there's a Chick-fil-A right over here. Hey, Chick-fil-A, here I come. What is y'all's favorite Chick-fil-A options? I wanna know that in the comments below as well. Okay, hey y'all, I stopped at home to unload the groceries by myself. And what's so great about that is usually, this is not a good angle. And what's so great about that is usually the kids come storming in, my husband comes storming, and they're starting to eat everything, and they don't even help me unload everything. They literally just wanna eat everything. So now my kids don't know what I got. I'm gonna hide a bunch of these snacks in the basement so they don't even know about them. And that way we can make the snacks last as long as possible. And we haven't eaten a little bit of every single food within a couple days because my husband isn't even here so he doesn't know about any of it either. I'm learning as I go here, people. Ways to save, keep your husband and your kids away. So as far as things go that I love about Sam's Club versus what I love about Costco, I wanna share a few. One being that 
Sam's Club has more variety of a lot of things. So when it comes to like cereals, the, the whole aisle was full of cereals. When I go to Costco, it's a very limited selection. Sometimes they'll switch it up, but mostly it's always the same. A lot of high fiber, not the kind my kids love, which is full of sugars. But anyways, <laughs> Sam's Club had plenty of the sugary cereal options. Um, they had more variety of options for other things as well. Snacks, um, whether they had them in bulk or whether they had the like snack sized bags of like chips and crackers and things. They had both options, which is awesome. Costco does as well. As far as name brand things, prices were very comparable to Costco. Their name brand, they have to stick within a limit. When it comes to Maker's Mark versus Kirkland brand, so Costco's brand versus Sam's Club's brand, I would have to say that Maker's Mark is a little bit cheaper at Sam's Club. And I think the reason for that is Costco has more quality food. Now, I'm speaking before I'm eating the food, but looking at Costco, they had much more options of organic foods. If you're someone who looks for more organic, grass-fed beef, that kind of thing, I think Costco is going to be the way to go. If you're not worried about that, Sam's Club may be a very good option for you saving a lot of money. Another thing that I loved about Sam's Club is Costco has not been carrying my Airwick plugins for the last five months or so I've been very upset all I've had is Glade but I have about a thousand of these plugs so I couldn't buy Glade so I was able to find the Airwicks at Sam's Club and they were even cheaper than they used to be at Costco so that's one plus that I loved a few things that some of you may not know if you've never been to Sam's Club or haven't been as of recently they have a self-checkout with a portable hand scanner where you can go and scan everything in your cart, amazing. They also have a scanner that you can take through the store so you can scan it, put it in your cart, scan it, put it in your cart. Once you're done with everything, you then get up to the front of the line, they scan, you, they print your receipt from your scanner and you just pay that way instead of having to scan everything back out of your cart, which took me a lot of time through the self scanner myself. So that's another plus. Costco, get on that. That would be amazing if Costco had. It would save so much time for a lot of people. So that's another plus that I loved. So with that, there's pros and cons to both stores. Overall, right now, before tasting all the food, I'll probably say that I love the savings at Sam's Club. I love the savings at Sam's Club. But as far as food quality, I have to get back to you all next month because I'm just not sure how good this food's going to taste. And so I'll get back to you. But I still am so curious as to what your opinions are on whether Sam's Club or Costco is the way to go. If you're in the area of both and have shopped at both, have you been able to compare and what did you like best? Okay, y'all, now it's off to Aldi to get a few of the miscellaneous small items and grab our um, fresh produce for the week where we, for all of you who don't know, we do have a small little budget of about 25 to $30 that we spend every week on fresh produce because you can't buy that in bulk without it going bad. Although there are a few things that you can buy in bulk that are fresh produce that you can freeze. And if you don't know what that is, I do have a video below about, about how to freeze certain items. You should be able to find that on one of my videos below. Um, and I'm going to, my budget is less than $30 for all of that. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to grab the kids, pick them up and that should be the end. It has been a two and a half with travel time, three hour day thus far. I'm ready to be done. And then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the month. One tip or trick to keep in mind that I did not mention yet is that you all need to remember to scan your receipts into your Fetch app. Fetch, F-E-T-C-H. Go ahead and use this code below for your opportunity to get some immediate rewards for your first scan of your receipts. This is going to scan points, which you can turn into money or gift cards that you can redeem for yourself to use to spoil yourself for all the hard work that you put in for your grocery hauls. For all of you who tuned in and watched today, I hope that you learned something. I kept it short and sweet, but I wanted to give all the juicy details of the shopping spree. If any of you are wanting my grocery haul list, my grocery haul PDF form, I have the weekly, the monthly grocery list, your grocery list, and your pantry inventory list all in PDF form for completely free. If that's something that you're interested in, comment below. I will get in touch with you and I can email it to you for absolutely free. This is all free for me out of the love of my heart and the fact that I want everybody to be able to save money and put it where it's more important. 
while healthy food is good for you, so is a healthy savings account and a healthy debt to income ratio, right? Am I right? I know it is for us. So go ahead and make sure you share, comment, like, and subscribe if you learned something today. And I will see you all again soon.